Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So, in this episode we are gonna take a deep dive how you can actually get the Freedom Fighter Trophy aka Reuniting the Dead. And let's start with the first area aka this Jotun area and I marked the place where we need to go. So that room place, so pretty early on you can actually start this side quest and this side quest before completion this quest will have three parts in it and let's take a look of the first part how you can actually start it all what you need to do you can come here in your first run if you want so just jump on the icicles don't use the zip line you are gonna enter the cave here you might have an elk shrine or not and after that breakable ice wall so far always in this location we have seen the huge sword that is stuck but the first time you are getting here you are seeing the body that has no arms no head whatsoever actually i really recommend of doing this in every run if you just can so you can get the side missions out of the way really fast so this location once again the ice cave come here read the letter on the body or not after you are done with exploring this cave just invoke the sword then select the reward if there is an option for that and then we are gonna see a cutscene Boom! A fight. You need to win this one, the armless, headless fight. The second time you are coming here, you will see body with no head, but this time she will have arms. By the way, I know I did say three times earlier, but... Well, the last thing, it is kinda hidden. It is not part of the quest per se, but something that you can find in the maps after the quest has completed. quality of this place. I was human before. Hell changed me. She didn't wield the instruments, but her will doubtlessly guided them. Warriors who grow stronger through death would make a formidable army. Are there many more like you? I know not. I feel parts of my memory have been hacked away. But I'll not forget my debt to you. And there we go, permanent favor unlocked, the summoned courage, and boom, quest completed, the wholesome warrior. And after you have done this, that is not over and I'm not sure how far this will go, but I will share a couple more things about this warrior in this video later on. So let's jump to the first thing about this warrior right now. Do not be alarmed, shield maiden. I am the one who made you whole. Strange. You look different just now. But call me Hervor. I have reclaimed my name. I am glad for you, Hervor. 
You grow stronger then? In many ways, but I still need to eat. I survived on hunting for years before I died, and I will do so here. Arrows are in short supply here if you haven't noticed. After the quest is completed, we are gonna meet Hervor. Not all the time, and she actually might change places, so take this with grain of salt. After you have given her what she needed or wanted, she actually will fight for you. But so far, it has only been one battle. But moving on to the next area, aka Dökerland, for part 2 and our second mission for a Freedom Fighter trophy, so let's go! So this quest is really simple, from the start just speak with Danny. after doing so he will ask you to free his dwarves that are kept captive, we are gonna go to that place and free the army of dwarves in few seconds, just keep watching. Save it Harvey, I get around, at least I used to. Or Durf took over my foundry, locked up my men, and cut down my ropes. Ropes? When I ran the foundry, I had rope lines strung all over Duckerland. Yeah, so Duckerland. So quickly, see? Ropes. Sounds like quite an operation. Like you were building an army. <laughs> I could supply. So, as said, we are gonna free the army. After this quest is completed, we can use in this area the rope lines or ship lines. And that is actually pretty pretty useful, so I highly recommend of doing this quest also pretty early on, if you just can in every run, and remember to open the gates in the location that we are gonna see really soon. But before that, I really would appreciate a like for this video, so this could reach much more people in YouTube and help me out. That out of the way, let's watch remaining of this cutscene, and sorry there is no cutscene sound, just because this is from my live stream and yeah, that was basically answering comments and stuff. So nothing helpful for this video, but from the very start to the very end. Here we will have a castle, great whole thing, and in there we can actually free every single one of the dwarves that we need for this quest. So let's go, shall we? Every cage opened, every dwarf has been freed, and actually, for the first time, they will fight for you and fight with you in this location. But what we need to do next? Well, after these little savages have been freed, let's start this area once again. So, here we go. And he has wasted no time building himself back up. I should remind him of a
Congratulations on your prosperity, dead one. I take it Durf is no longer a problem. <laughs> I had him tossed in the lava. It won't kill him for long, but it'll be a slow, painful road back. Speaking of roads, you promised to ease my passage once your position was restored. Oh, did I? That sounds like the old me. A weak, pathetic creature, alone in a crumbling home. Oh, Danny, the dead one, foreman of Hell's Foundry, rigor of rope lines, will not be bound by promises! Meet your fate! to toss you in the lava. Well, I needed to make sure it was you and not some imposter riding your reputation. Some people have no honor down here. I have no time to dirty my hands further. You will make good on your bargain, or by doer in spirit. Of course, of course. And so there's no hard feelings. I'll have my workers do double shifts at half pay. You do not need to do that. Why, no. But I can't let them think I've gone soft. Boom! Open lines. Permanent favor unlocked. And also... Boom! Dark dealings. Quest completed. And that was the whole thing basically. The next time you are coming here, there's no way to speak to anybody. There is just a bunch of dwarves. But look who's here. So this was my first encounter in this area with Hervor, but as you can see, I was in the battle, well, I was directed, and she died. The next time I did meet her in the Muspel area, I was doing my connect challenges reset, definitely check the whole thing if you want, but this time she was in the different position, we were able to speak to her, so let's see. Oh. This one, over here. Oh, the gods have granted me luck. You always come when I need you the most. How can I help, Hathor? Let me feed off your strength. It is a ghoulish request, I know. But one I will repay many times over. Okay, take my help. And again, she will only help you in one fight. I tried to go in the third area, looking for her, but no luck for me this time. But I definitely will let you know if I find anything. But let's keep moving. So, final part in Nidheim for this trophy. So, let's go and let me know in the comments down below. Is there anything new in this video for you? Is this helpful? I really would like to know. As shown in the map, that is the place to go at first and you are starting the quest from there. This is three part quest as well. So first we need to find the quest holder, then we need to do the task and after that we need to complete the quest in different runs, so at least three times. So let's take a look without cutting too much. So here we go, cutscene incoming. these bridges when they just fall apart I mean no offense but it does seem a pointless task such is life among the dead the corruption what eats at these bridges is fed by the same hands who demand their maintenance and whose hands are those the hands of Nidhogg twisted collection of druids, mystics, and priests who serve the ruler of these pestilent islands. Nidhogg. 
I know that name. A creature whose depravity is legendary. He reigns here? Aye. Drinking the sap of Idris's roots while his hands gather the living and dead for him to feast upon. And the ones responsible for the rot that eats at these bridges. If I eliminate them, it would ease my passage through here. Nidhag is the true root of the rot, but cutting away his hands would slow its spread. You could start with my owner. He's a dark druid who patrols this area, dressed to inspire terror and loathing. The dark druid may be hard to spot in the mist, but his attire is unmistakable.
So as shown in my armor video, Kroger stall. Yeah, that is part of the side quest. But let's go for the second part of this quest. And this one, it is pretty simple. After arriving in Nidheim, Brodir is actually waiting for you in the very beginning of the Nidheim area. And he asks you to find him some moonstones, three of them. Well, that is actually much simpler than you might think. So we are gonna see the conversation in full once again. After that, all you need to do is find the elite shopkeeper from the elite shopkeeper. Well, we are gonna see what is gonna happen when you do. The merchant stall is near the tower. I dare not approach it myself. I still have the look of a thrall. So here we are and I also will show another way to go in here. So if you have a font chest in this area, well, this is quite simple. Just find the ladder down and there you go. And let's keep moving with this quest. Greetings, trader. I seek three stones. So you're the one! Why didn't you say so sooner? I hate when fated items linger here unclaimed. You knew I would come for the stones. Are you a seer? No. But down here, one needs to traffic in prophecy from time to time. I supply what's required. No questions asked. A most discreet agent of fate. There are the stones. Come talk to me when you're in the mood to spend. Money is always welcome. Your shop is not easy to find. That cannot be good for business. That's to keep out the damn wolves. Not that it's had much effect. Anyway, if you're not clever enough to find my shop, you likely have nothing worth trading. You may be right about that. Of course I'm right. Now, are you here to do business or not? I'm curious. The Moonstones! They're yours. And now, if there's nothing more required of me... You may go. I have what I need. I hope the payment provided was equal to the effort.
Too close together and the trap may be avoided. Too far apart and the power grows too weak. So it is time for the final part of this quest and also the final part for the trophy. So let's go in this area in the Nidheim. You will find the body on the ground and there will be also an interaction button. Let's press the button and let's see what is gonna happen. Perhaps some boom 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 time. The placement of the stones has activated the power. Is that what struck the throne down? I need something to counter it. Your amazement, traveler, and help me kill some cultists. Sister will recover once I move her away from the Moonstone's influence. Away? I thought the Moonstones helped her resist the spell. No, they weaken us. Our true forms are wolves, so I'll wait until you're gone. She may be confused. I understand. I'm heartened that family bonds could survive such a place. But I will be glad to quit this land of rot. Not everything in this place is as corrupt as the worm who gnaws at it. Some keep hope alive for the rebirth that will be Ragnarok. You have my thanks and my pledge. When you find yourself sorely hurt, we'll catch your scent and come. And there we go. We are getting permanent favor of Wolf's Pledge. Every time your health is going low, too low, that guy in the wolf form will actually come in your aid. And as you can see, the quest completed, shifting loyalties. 
boom, 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 and also the trophy will be earned. The Freedom Fighter, well, that is for you. Also, in the Nidhem, this area, the left hand of Nidhawk, that is actually pretty funny and really hypnotic in my opinion. But before ending the video, I really want to thank my channel members, aka the Elite Wolfpack. If you want to become part of the Elite Wolfpack, there's a join button below this video. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.